in your entire life and you feel like hey this is the best color ever in this entire life and you choose that color and you think to yourself oh my i love this color in this video you're going to learn on how to do a basic painting for your furry face for your furry icon for your furry best friend give a hug to your fluffy best friend you know i want a hug i want a hug give me a hug <laughs> Thank you very much for the hug. Let's go to the video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. How to paint it. First things first. First, you need to have all of your line art, all of the silhouette of your line art. Close it. Close. Close it. We don't accept open things here. No, you are a little bit... We need to have our line art very well closed. That's right. This is very well closed. So now we're gonna press W. Or we just click here on magic wand. Now you select the background and you can see everything around it is selected. But now you're gonna press Ctrl Shift I. And now you go to your layer that you're going to paint. And that layer for painting is below the line art, okay? You go to that layer and now using G, you're going to change from gradient to paint bucket too. Now you pick a color that you want and now you go back and you paint it, click it. Wow. Now you press Ctrl D, press the D and now your selection is removed. Now what you can do is take a little bit of those things that you never really ask it for like the selection being painting stuff that you never uh, really like hey i want you to paint this or you just go here in your bucket too and adjust your tolerance normally you need to make your tolerance smaller you can do this job of removing all of this thing right now or you can just go like me and totally ignore the existence of those things and just fix that in the ending how to go from this base to a better base you lock right here your layer so now you can only paint inside of it all this lower area tends normally to be brighter And now I'm going to show how to do a small gradient already on your base colors. Create a new layer and you're going to call it whatever you want. Mine is going to be a very good name. On the base color layer, I'm going to select the layer that I want to do a gradient. Like here in the hair, I truly want to do a gradient in the hair. And I want to select also the back area of the hair. How can I do it? I just hold shift and I was going to appear this little plus on my wand and now going back to your new layer hiding your selection by pressing ctrl ctrl h ctrl wait wait eight i'm going to press f5 enable transfer and now i'm going to take out all of the hardness now we gotta go soft okay
a new layer pressing Ctrl Shift N and naming it the best way possible. And now I'm going to press hold Ctrl and Alt between layers and here. Now I'm only able to paint inside of my base color layer. Remember, this thing is called clipping mask. This is a very good ability to have. We're gonna go here on multiply. Make our layer on multiply, okay? Remember, we need to see as shapes. This area right here, it's in a different shape than what we are seeing right here. So, this area, it's going to be more darker. And something that can help me a lot is doing selections. I'm going to remove all my selection and do a huge shadow here. Let's take our transfer a little bit higher on minimal, a little bit higher on the hair and start applying it. Shadows. Bigger fur, harder. Smaller fur, softer. How to choose the color that you're going to apply in your painting for shadows? Ask yourself what is the kind of mood, emotion that you want to show with your painting. If you want to show something more calm, peaceful, or sad, all of these emotions that are like more smooth, you can try to go to more cooler tones, like blues greens close to blues purples close to blues and if you want to pass a more warm emotion heartwarming coolness us wholesome you go to more warm shadows that's normally what people tend to do and if you want to go more into fantasy why not purple crazy purples crazy greens you can really choose any color that you want but it needs to go well with the motion that you want to show If you apply the black as an example, you're going to make the shadows much darker. And if you apply the white, you're going to almost remove. But it's still there, it's still there. If you paint black again, it's still going to be there. For you to have your layer of shadow right here, lock it, and you can just go and make it darker, make it brighter, make it the way you want. And now we do the zigzag, zigzag, okay?
is looking very good for a start. So let's keep going. Last thing to do here is using this mush tool, this tool right here, this finger right here, this pointing finger, this finger that is pointing, pointing to the sponge, sponge pointing to the finger, finger point, pointing to the sponge. Maybe it's going to show these other ones, but you, you just gotta select this mush tool. You can change the strength always, but you're just gonna make everything smooth, lower it, lower it even more, yes, on 20%. You just gotta make your brush on the same movement of it and it's going to make everything smooth. Create a new layer, Ctrl Shift N. It's going to be our effects. Now we're gonna start adding effects. That's right. Color Dodge. They make your art go brrr. So, be careful while selecting the color. I'm going to add a more reddish color. And I'm going to lower my opacity to only 10%. Adding this highlight closer to light and not on the shadows. Don't add it on the shadows. It would be strange to add it on the shadows. I'm going to color my line art. And you guys are gonna notice that just by coloring your line art, you're gonna see that it's going to look even more out together image. The colors are going to get much more together. for you to consider base color base color selection gradient and then 
you go and add shadows, soft and hard shadows. You're always using your lasso too. And then you add some reflection. And then you add some coloring your line art. And then you add subscribing to the channel and leaving a like and a comment of what you want to see next. Because if you don't, I don't know what is going to happen to you. So after that, you also add some effects like screen, color dodge, just like I added here on the layer. Remember, on the layer, you add this type of effect. And after that, you just use camera raw and go crazy 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 if you like this tutorial why not try to check out our channel for even more high quality content we have the tutorial on this channel on how to make this drawing and also on how to draw other stuff like how to draw boobs how to draw a human body how to draw a face how to draw a how to draw fur how to use as much to how to use whatever the freak you want to use on photoshop so yeah let's go into that on our channel welcome to the channel champ and i'll be seeing you in the next one check out our paint room and game road for even more high quality content and i'll be seeing you in the next one you're awesome champ. Bye-bye!